finally a chance to make some noise as we get some, uh, all the volunteers are out of, of course, but also some of the athletes from some of the other sports have made their way up here to the Anching National Sliding Centre. For the four-man Bob, everyone wants to be part of the four-man Bob. Third man down in the ultimate roller coaster. <laughs> Get the lines right through the labyrinth. Lovely, you can hear it, you can see it. He's on song at the moment, although fell out of that curve now. The uphill section and out of the bend away. Okay. Well, he fixed that. That could have gone a lot worse, but he handled that transition well. Because when one curve goes wrong, the next one most likely will be wrong. Oh, that's. Oh, gosh, I'm holding my breath. Crips to stay in the green for a bronze medal. Two hundredths of a second. Lochner, Hansi, who comes down now, 0.45 of a second clear of the bronze. The gold's an option for him. He's 0.2, which again is a lot, 0.2 of a second behind Friedrich. But Francesco Friedrich has made some errors here in the four-man. Lochner cannot afford to do that. He just needs to be as fast as he has been, or as fast as he can be. Look at the graphic, take us through the S's. Three, four, five. Fantastic as the snow falls here over the flying snow dragon. And Lochner lets it rip. We know he'll build. He's doing great. He's really letting the sled do the work, not overdriving and creating friction. This is what he does well with. Now, just imagine being the best, being better than everyone else except for one man, and that's Friedrich. So he has a lot to prove, and this is his chance to finally dethrone the king. He set a track record with his first run. Couldn't maintain that. But he's building here, is Hansi Lochner. He's building here with a little right and then a little left through the tail of the dragon because he was working it so, so hard. 59.3 means that he has certain silver. That means Germany will definitely take the gold. It's just a matter of whether it is Lochner or whether it is Friedrich. So the emotion comes from the crew and the pilot that secured a silver already in the two-man. He is at least a silver in the fall. Francesco Friedrich here. The ultimate snow dragon slayer. The two-man gold medalist looking to take another step. They have the best start times in all three runs. 489, they've done it again. Inside 4.9 seconds, that's great. The only problems for Friedrich came there again. He touched the roof out of two. That forces him across to the right-hand side of the course. Watch the time. How much damage was done there? Lochner is the man to beat. He had a gap on him as they left. It's still three-tenths of a second. Friedrich all class through the chicane. He's clean, but he's riding on the edge. This is really close to one of his transitions. He's opening up the lead, though, so we can expect this from Friedrich, but Lochner is still crossing his fingers at the bottom to see if anything happens. What a finish. He lost a little bit of time now. The toughest part of the track. He's done it. He stands alone atop the great ice walls of China. It's double goal for Francesco Friedrich in Beijing. They're some of the biggest, baddest, strongest. I mean, he has one of the, he has the fastest start on tour, so his brakeman really put him in a nice position. This made it interesting. Curve two, hitting woods. We thought things could have unwound it for him, but he really, I mean, there's no words. He really is just so good at what he does. He's, what is he, back to back now? First to ever do it at the Olympic Games. Yeah, yeah. That's back to back medals or double gold here and that is four gold medals for him now overall.